There's nothing I love more than catching my own food. It's fun, it's challenging, and if it's done the right way, it's totally sustainable. In this episode, I'm teaming up with a few like-minded friends to show you how to catch two fine delicacies that can be found in the waters of Sydney, kingfish and mahi-mahi. But before we can get amongst the action, there is a secret weapon for catching pelagic fish like these ones, live bait. Yeah, we, we um, started off well. We went out to the Sydney Artificial, it's technically called the Sydney Offshore Artificial, and it's an artificial structure as the name implies, and um, it basically rises up about 15 metres off the bottom. It's a great place to target kingfish. When you're looking for spots to catch, say kingfish, mm -hmm. um, where would you look? Uh, structure, pretty much. So if you got, um, I know there's artificial reefs in Sydney, um, pinnacles under the water, um, all throughout Sydney there's different locations. Uh, commonly known, you can search them on the internet. Um, yeah, old wrecks. After the artificial, we went out to some fish traps, which are floating buoys. They're put out by the New South Wales DPI to try and um, attract pelagic species like dolphin fish. All right, so we've just come offshore. Sydney's just over there. We've uh, come out some little markers where they've got some fish traps. And you can literally see the dolphin fish everywhere under the boat. You get the polarized, polarized sunnies on, you can just see them scooting under the boat. When you're fishing for dolphin fish, uh, what's your favourite technique? Favourite technique, um, it's sort of a tough one, it's, it's whatever's working at the time. Whether you've got a, a, um, a jig or, or whatever you're casting, a soft plastic, you get it close to the buoy, let it sink down, and then sort of just jig it up from, from there. I'd probably let it sink four or five metres um, just to see what's happening, and then go from there. Um, if they're nice and active, which they have been, um, throwing poppers at them is always good, good fun. You know what we do is we just cast our lure out there. We're trying to imitate some bait fish on the surface. You see that lure there, it's kind of just working across the top. And that's pretty much how it's done. There's one thing that I've uh, learnt about dolphin fish or dorado or mahi or whatever you want to call them. Something floating on the surface, it could be even just a piece of driftwood yep. or um, just these boys like these ones here, these crayfish pot boys. Um, the dolphin fish just school around it, they absolutely love it and we've noticed that today we've caught quite a few but unfortunately all of them very small and undersized and we want to feed. So I'm going to try some other traps up here and see how we go. Good stuff. Taking undersized fish goes against everything fishermen stand for. It can be detrimental to future fish stocks. Mahi Mahi grow extremely fast, and no doubt next season these beautiful little fish will be right for the table. The, the lures are working sweet, but we're trying to get a better sized fish, so we've switched over to some live baits that we caught this morning. They're just yellowtail scad, commonly known as yakas around here. I think there's a bit of a saying with fishermen, big bait, big fish. Hopefully that theory works. I'm gonna give it a try no sinker, we hook a live bait and simply get it as close to the markers as you can and let it free swim down. Yeah, it's better. Today we went home with piles of smiles, some cracking memories and one beautiful mahi mahi which next episode I will show you how to fill it and prepare for my favourite dish, sashimi and then how to match it with the perfect beer.